I am Nick Shell. And I am Mario Garcia. And together, we are Jeep, Jeep Hombres. This is the video you've been waiting for. We both have Jeep Wranglers. We are going to do a virtual tour of our two Jeeps here. I'm gonna start with Mario. He's got the red one behind me, so I'm gonna become the cameraman. He's gonna be the host, and he's gonna tell you about it. So here we go. I'm gonna start following you. Yeah, let's get started. Uh, so I have a 1997 Jeep Wrangler Sport. It is a inline six V6, uh, 4.0 liter. Um, I bought it from some good friends of mine uh, at the church um, that I used to work at, and uh, I love this thing. Um, I made some changes to it after I bought it from them. I added some bigger tires. These are 35 inch BF Goodrich um, uh, TKA tires that I have put on there. Um, and also, uh, I think those are 17 inch wheels on there. Um, stock bumper, um, I added a high lift on there. Uh, because of the actual suspension lift that the Jeep has and the bigger tires, the actual Jeep's uh, jack that came with it wasn't able to actually lift the Jeep. So I added a high lift on there that helps me jack up um, the car if I ever get a flat tire, which I haven't so far, luckily. Um, so, Coming around here, I have some stuff on the inside that I added. Um, we've got right here, you can see in the windshield, that is a CB radio. I did install a little speaker on there so I can talk to people um, uh, from the inside of my Jeep. So that's kind of a lot of fun to do. Um, I've got a Smitty built, um, a Smitty built cargo net. Now, uh, one of the things, the differences that you'll see is I have a soft top Jeep, whereas Nick has a hard top. Um, and so with the soft top Jeeps, those are actually pretty prone to get broken into. Um, and when I was looking on Jeep line forms, and that's actually what happened to my Jeep a couple months ago is it got broken into. Uh, but I would look on, online at Jeep forms and some people said that they put cargo nets on theirs, on the soft tops, uh, and that kind of would deter people from breaking in just because it would take a long time to cut through these. So I installed that myself, really, really easy. We could talk more about that later. Uh, if you guys got questions, we have an aftermarket bumper. Um, on here and that's something that uh, we uh, was on the Jeep when I purchased it but they put that on there so I can uh, they can mount a, a bigger wheel um, for uh, my, my spare tire um, so I give you a little background view of the Jeep and uh, that's uh, that's pretty much it as far as that goes got a little sound bar up here did, was that aftermarket for you? Uh, that was that was with the Jeep uh, when I purchased it. I've got a whole bunch of gadgets in here that uh, that I have. Like there's a multi-tool hanging down. I got a couple knives in here. What do you keep in the backpack there? <laughs> um, that is actually a first responder kit. I used to be an EMT, so I've got tourniquet, oh. shears, I got bandages, wraps, uh, anything like that in case I ever come across you know a car accident or something like that. Um, and uh, and I need to act quickly. I can. I've got the appropriate equipment that I need to. Um, you know, help in any way that I can. So, uh, so I keep that in there. It's got my blood type. <laughs> you know what's uh, funny is more. you're saying that is because I know it's not in the Jeep right now because we just came off of a trip. But yeah. I keep uh, this uh, hydraulic trolley jack in the back of mine for the same oh, yeah. way, and I, and like a universal uh, lug nut remover in case I'm able to help somebody. Yeah. Because when that happened to my wife, I didn't have all that with me, and her car didn't even have a jack in the back. So. Oh, yeah. So since then, I was like, I'm just gonna carry this around in case I can help somebody. Yep. So it's funny that that's, I didn't know that about you. Yep. And uh, that we already were on the same mindset there. Yep. Yeah, so uh, also in the Jeep, I keep jumper cables as well. Um, I do have a subwoofer that I installed myself. Um, so that's oh yeah, a, it's down in there. That's an aftermarket, yep. Can you, kinda... you, yeah, go ahead and show yep. that. Cause I remember when I first saw your Jeep and I was like, I was thinking, man, I need to, do I need to get one of those? <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, before I had the Jeep, I had a Volvo, and so I had this subwoofer in the back seat as two subs, so I actually modified it. Um, it's really hard to kind of pull out, actually. But, oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, so there's the amp on the right, and then the subwoofer right here. So this is a 10-inch MTX sub, and that, I mean, that alone makes a big difference for uh, sound quality, uh, making sure that everything sounds really, really good uh, in the Jeep, so. 
And then, yeah, so this aftermarket bumper as well, it swings open. Um, so it's got a tire swing on there, so that swings open, so I can access the back. Um, and then I have to use some force, so I'm sorry for the sound, but I have to use some force to swing it back. Uh, a little get up, but yeah. Oh, also, uh, one thing I didn't mention is um, because of the Jeep's kind of has a narrow frame on it, um, the tires, I had to put spacers on the tires. Can you show me? Uh, yep. So when I first added these 35 inch tires, um, they're 35 by 12, uh, I think, or 12 and a half. I don't remember. But um, so the width of the tires, whenever I would turn, the tire would actually hit oh, the right. inside of the frame. You were telling me about that. Yep. So if you look here, um, this little silver thing right there, this is a spacer. So this actually brought my tires out wider. Okay. Um, so one thing that if you can actually take a shot of your Jeep tires and then compare to my okay. Jeep tires, they kind of stick. If you look from the frame, his tires uh, don't stick quite as far out as oh, my yeah, tires yeah, yeah. do. I totally uh, Yep, different. and that's just because of the spacers. And that's the spacers actually keep my tires whenever I can turn all the way to keep them from, um, from rubbing the inside frame on the Jeep. So. And yeah, because so yours is a 97. That was, and, and mine was an, is a newer body frame where they started making it wider. Wait, wait. I, what year did they start making it wider? Do you remember? Oh, I don't remember. It's this head. series of JK where, with mine where they purposely okay. made it wider. Yeah. Um, yep. To help with that. Yeah, so that's something that uh, that I had to put on mine as well. It's just those those spacers. I went with one and a half inch. Um, I think I want to put a two inch spacer on there. Uh, just add another half inch out. Um, I think Jeeps that kind of have a wider frame, a little bit thicker tires and wider frames, um, they just kind of look a little bit meaner. Um, so uh, yeah, so I'll probably add those. But very simple to and easy to install. I did all four of mine, and probably. Just, Don't be alarmed, it's just the watermelon shaped pool. Yep. <laughs> What's funny is, is she still asleep? Yep. My daughter is still asleep. That's hilarious. Uh, yeah, so super easy to install, and uh, yeah, um, probably took me about an hour and a half, two hours to do it. Cool, so cool. I guess we'll uh, go ahead and do a little tour of mine. I'll make my tour, uh, oh, and just again, yours is a 97. 1997, yeah. Is it considered a JK? Is it part of the JK? No, it's, a, it's actually the TJ. Oh, the TJ family. Yep, I did not. So '97 TJ. Uh, the JK I think came out in 2007. Okay, so yep. mine was three years into into that. So yeah, so definitely. Then mine has a wider body than yours. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. and, and also, I was also um, reading that um, that yeah, that in general, I guess the body of mine is supposedly bigger than yours. Yeah, like they're like if you were if you're sitting in there, there's going to be more space in the seats, in yeah. between the seats kind of thing? Yep. Okay. Yeah, so you definitely have a, a wider frame. Um, I mean, if you look at the windshield size, mine's definitely a little bit more narrow. Okay, um, yeah. So you, you definitely have a lot more space in yours, uh, in the JK models, and the newer models, you definitely have more space. Okay. Uh, on those. Cool, well, I'm gonna, here. I'll go ahead and just uh, tell a little bit about mine. What's funny is, at the filming of this video, I've only had mine for, today makes two weeks, actually, and, uh, so mine is a 2010, it's a JK Sport. Uh, it is, uh, yes, it, yeah, there's a Sport. It's even got the, uh, and I need to investigate this, but it's got the, even the trail rated emblem on there. I don't know, oh, yeah. I have to look into that, and I'm sure people watching the video right now will be like, oh, I know exactly what that is. Well, go ahead and tell me about it in the comments. But uh, as far as what we've got going on here, uh, since I bought it, obviously uh, I bought it used, so, uh, I know that these are not the original tires either. Yeah. <laughs> the person who owned it before then. Um, I love this. And this is very important for my kids when they get in. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, yeah, so my daughter is still asleep amazingly through all this. Yeah. But uh, that mine's definitely a, a six speed there. And here's what the back seats look like. Oh, that's right. I've got, I've got the T-tops. Mm -hmm. So, um, have you seen those before? I I've been, I've been, or have you experienced that, I guess I should say? Um, I haven't experienced it. I haven't driven one yet. Um, but I do know the T-top for the hard top that comes with. See, that means you can just take this top. Yeah. This and what's off. funny is I, I did that this week just for three days. I just kept it off the entire time. Yeah. Um, so, that worked for me. So, um, oh yeah. I wanted to see your, okay. actually, if you'll unlock, let's look at your shifter too, because you, yep. with me, reverses all the way far over to the right. Yeah. And yours is going to be more standard to the left, right? Yep. Uh, 
Mine is to the right as well. Oh, really? So mine's all the way to the right and then down. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, mine's a five speed. I, I don't know if we said that. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know if we said that either. Yeah, mine's a five speed, 1997 uh, five speed manual. And honestly, man, I had an automatic before. I don't know if I can ever go back to yeah, an automatic. I, yeah. And especially with a Jeep. Like, if you're going to get a Jeep, you got to get a manual. That's, like that. that's, and that's a, that's a whole other video. Yeah. We, we're going to have another 10 minutes to talk about that for sure. Yeah. Um, I guess I'll just. Now, it's funny because when I was noticing how you opened yours, you had to do the tire separate, uh -huh. but on mine, it actually swings with it. Yep. Like that. Um, do you, is it just me or does mine have a little bit more room back here? Or is it just how big your subwoofer is? No, yours, <laughs> yours definitely has more room okay. um, than mine. Yep. What's well, yeah. funny, the reason I keep that in there, I made a video about this already, that's how when I store the T-tops, mm -hmm. that helps cushion the sound so oh, they, yeah. they don't click together. Yeah. So here's a view from there. Yeah, I think maybe now she's waking up. Yeah, she's like, wait, what's going on? Well, this is a good time to end the video. Hey, baby. You ready to get out? And go inside and play with your toy? Okay, we'll go inside. All right, that's a good 11-minute video for us. Sweet. We will be back with the next one. Yeah.